sure how Brooke Lopez got so out of position. Usually a much better job of uh, putting the body on the rebounders. There's Middleton. The Bucks trail by two. Oh. Bucks work the perimeter. Middleton. He's open. Hitting the three. Well, he found a little cubby hole coming off that screen. Didn't come all the way to the basketball at the top, but he found that, that nice little nook in there to stop him. Get his feet set. Knock down the shot. Good. Not that I had anything to do with the effective field goal percentage, but I just remember always feeling like that three-point shot should be worth more than just an informal kind of a practice comparable. Deep miss by Middleton. He cuts. Bledsoe finds him. Beautiful layup. Yeah, well, how do you finish that? JaVale McGee just, he looks flummoxed. Drive, kick, Wilson, three. That's K. Mitty. That's Chris Middleton recognizing the mismatch against Rajon Rondo. Put with them. Chris Middleton is taking a bigger role, it would appear, a more aggressive role in orchestrating as he does with Conifer. Well, it's, 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 a, it's an element of freedom in that, because you know the idea. He continues to play hard at both ends. Wagner from Berlin, Germany. Yep. No back now. Lopez has two blocks. Potentially. <laughs> because the Bucs are at home. Including tonight, 12 remaining games. Eight right here. Yeah. So the schedule, 23. Middleton reverse. Well, it's going to be a shootout. He gets hot. Rondo picks up his first. Yeah. Well, and the good news for the Bucks, it'll be an easy adjustment at halftime. Because the Bucks have a patience to their game tonight. They're just smooth, and Brook Lopez continues to roll on. 18 for him, four triples made now. Well, Javel McGee doesn't. Middleton up and in for three more. Here we go. That's that energy. It's clicking now. The competitiveness, the good habits that Dar Darvin Ham talked about at halftime. We're seeing them now. Just under eight minutes okay. in the third. Middleton again. Three, four, six behind the arc. 21 points. Why not? It's a shootout at the OK Corral at the Fiserv Forum. Sterling Brown loving it. That's traveling and luggage going on. Nice. Lopez hammers it. 24 points. First future for more playing time to impress the people in Lakerland. Take it with the 25th pick last summer by the Lakers. Middleton. Nice. Yes. Here we go. Here we go. On his way. Get that, get that, get that second 30-point game this season, Chris Middleton. Middleton tries to drive through, spins, and hits. 28 points for Chris Middleton. Yeah, nice job recognizing the size advantage. Great anticipation, Terry. Picking Chris Middleton. Fell down, got up. Bledsoe off the steal. Middleton has 30 points tonight. For the second time this season, he matches his season high with 30 points again. Watch this. Hard fall. Oh, that was a hard fall. The hit point of weight to happen is I'm not sure, I'm not sure if McGee gave him a little, little nudge or what, but Bledsoe, nice job, presence of mind. He understands Chris is down there just late getting back on defense. And you call it cherry picking, just kind of hanging back. Understandable with a fall like that. Kind of an unfair term when you fall. Milwaukee will be 53 and 18 as they head to Cleveland for a game tomorrow night. The Bucks are 28 and 6. At Pfizer Forum, 